Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan X Trail. A listener production. Hi, it's Andrew Shaw with you. Amid a growing road toll in our region and the end of the long weekend today, police are asking us to be as safe as possible. Thousands are likely to be out on local roads venturing home from their long weekend adventures and Limestone Coast Officer in charge Campbell Hill says the drive to the conditions of the road is important. For the time that it takes for people to get home, we, we really need people to switch on, make sure they're driving to the conditions, be patient, be courteous to everybody else and uh, ultimately that will get everybody safely from A to B, which is our ultimate aim. Born and raised in Mount Gambier, Bill Barrows is receiving top honours today for the King's birthday. He's receiving an OAM for his service to motorsports, not just in Mount Gambier, but right around the country. He says he's been part of the motorsport industry for decades. Things are just flowing on from there where we've now got a, an organisation called Speedway Australia, which I was instrumental in getting involved in making that happen and getting set up. He's among three southeastern residents sharing in Order of Australia medals today. Mount Gambier's Michael Backer has been recognised for service to secondary education, while Maureen Christie from Carpenter Rocks is also up for her significant service to wildlife conservation. Well, it's officially State Budget Week and plenty of groups vying for funding. Police are set to receive $12.2 million to expand recruitment efforts. Meantime, skills and training funding is also on the cards, particularly after an electric vehicle training facility opened in Adelaide last week. Motor Trade Association CEO Daryl Jacobs has told Seven they'd be more than keen to get a bit of more funding to expand regionally. We would like to take some of our training to regional areas um, so that we can, you know, whether it's Mount Gambier or Port Lincoln, we'd like to be a lot more involved in the school uh, area. And flu cases continue to rise in SA. There's been over 4,700 so far this year. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. And Portland say they've been asked by the SANFL to rejoin South Eastern footy after leaving more than 10 years ago. Club president Troy Bannum's told the advertiser they're waiting on more info for the league before putting it to the general committee later this year. For quality tools that go the distance, you can't go past Kango. Kango's bits, blades, trowels and discs are made to go longer and do the job better. Look for the Kango yellow target at Bunnings.